Hey everyone, my name is Nigel, and before we start, I'm gonna get a quick haircut. All right, that's better. Today, I'm gonna be doing the part one of my Canon 80D review. I wasn't gonna do this review all in one video, kind of like a one-stop shop, but I realized that that could get pretty long and I'd rather just cover each section individually. So this section is all gonna be about audio, and all the audio that I'm gonna be recording is gonna be straight into the camera. That was one of the things that I didn't see on a lot of the reviews of this camera was if the audio preamps were any better than the other Canon cameras that have come out. So there have been plenty of reviews about this camera showing that it actually does give a better detailed image than the camera before it, the 70D. And so I wanted to see if Canon actually was listening to their customers and improved the audio preamps within the Canon 80D. So I'm gonna be putting it through its paces. The one thing that I won't be testing is how this camera sounds with a Rode VideoMic Pro attached to it. If you have a Rode VideoMic Pro, you're pretty much good to go if you have basically any camera. And I know that the Rode VideoMic Pro sounds really good on cameras like this, even cameras with bad preamps like the 60D for example. The Rode VideoMic Pro will sound great because you can turn the plus 20 dB and then turn the preamps of the camera down. But what I wanted to try it with today was microphones like the Sennheiser MKE 400 and my favorite mic, the Comica VM10. Now this Sennheiser is not the cheapest, but it can be had for about a hundred bucks on eBay if you look for it used. And this is about 50 bucks brand new. And it's basically the same thing as like a Rode Video Micro. This one is just plug and play, so there's no battery. And this one did really poorly on my review when it came to the Canon 60D because you had to turn the preamps of that camera up in order to get the correct levels with this mic. And so we're gonna see how much I have to turn the preamps up with the Canon 80D in order to get proper levels, or if turning the levels up is gonna cause a lot of hiss and noise. This mic, the Sennheiser MKE 400, does have a added gain setting. It doesn't say how much here on the mic, it actually boosts it, but I'm gonna guess it's around 10 dB. So we're gonna test this. This one's a really good mic and I've had it for a really long time. I just don't use it as much as I use this just because of the convenience of just not having to have a battery with this Comica VM10. So I'm gonna be testing them on the Canon 80D as well as on the Canon 60D just to give you a little bit of a comparison and we can see if there's any improvement from the Canon 60D to the Canon 80D. And I'm guessing the 70D has similar preamps as the 60D does. So yeah, let's go out and test these and we'll see how well the Canon 80D does with camera mounted shotgun mics like this. The audio that you're actually listening to right now is being recorded with a microphone extension cable and the Aspen stereo lav mic just plugged straight into the camera. And I am using the internal preamps of the Canon 80D. I have them set to about, I don't know, between off and the middle range. So like right in the middle of that. And just so you know, I'm not gonna be using any external audio recorders or anything like that. I won't be cheating. This is all being recorded internally on the Canon 80D. So let's get into the tests and we'll see if Canon has made any improvements in the audio preamps with this Canon 80D. So before we get into the tests, I do just wanna make a couple of comments about the actual physical audio features on this camera. Uh, one thing that I really like is that obviously it has a mic jack, but it also has a headphone jack, which for someone like me who shoots a lot of like, you know, like promotional stuff that has like, you know, talking head type stuff in it, and you need to make sure that you have good audio, having a headphone jack is awesome. And I also really like where Canon placed this headphone jack. It's just in a perfect spot where it's not gonna get in the way of the LCD screen when you tilt it. So I really like that. And something that I really like that even my GH3 didn't have is not only does it have audio meters on the screen, which my GH3 had, but they went away after you started recording, after like a minute or something like that. And so you just had to like hope that there wasn't gonna be any audio issues with this. They're on the screen all the time. I can see my, my um, audio meters right now, and that's great. And you can also adjust them while you're recording, which is something, again, that the GH3 couldn't even do. And you can adjust your headphone levels. So those are two really cool things, and I think that they're really useful. And 
props to you, Canon, for doing that. I think that that is really cool. But let's get into the tests. The first mic we're gonna test is this Comica VM10. We're gonna test it on the Canon 80D as well as the 60D and see if there's any improvements in the audio preamps of these cameras. So let's get into it. All right, so what you're listening to right now is audio from the Canon 60D with the Comica VM10 up on top of it. So we're gonna see how this compares between the Canon 80D that I have right here. And the 60D I know has always kind of let me down as far as the audio preamps. We do have some fans going, so there might be a little bit of noise from that, but overall, it's a pretty quiet environment in here. Obviously, it's kind of echoey because we're in a huge um, skateboard warehouse. But let's just see how the Canon 60D compares to the 80D when it comes to the internal preamps. I have set the levels manually to get the proper audio levels. I like to make sure it's just a couple notches below hitting 12. So that's where I have it right now. And I'm going to stop talking right now so you can listen to the noise floor. All right, now let's switch to the Sennheiser MKE 400. All right, so now what you're listening to is the MKE 400. I do not have the boost enabled, so this is at the exact same audio settings as the VM10. So again, I'm just gonna stop talking right now and we can listen to the noise floor. All right, now I'm gonna adjust the levels and turn the gain boost on and we'll see if the noise level improves at all with this MKE 400. All right, so now you're listening to the Sennheiser MKE 400 on top of the Canon 60D and this has the audio levels turned only like two notches above completely off using the gain boost on the MKE 400. So hopefully the noise floor should be a little bit better. Hopefully you're listening to this on headphones. So uh, yeah. All right, so we are testing this Comica VM10 on top of the 80D. We're gonna see how well it does in a, you know, talking head type situation like that. It's mounted directly on top of the 80D, and you shouldn't be hearing anything except maybe some fans, and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna stop talking right now so you can hear the noise floor, and then we're gonna switch to the Sennheiser MKE 400. All right, let's switch to the Sennheiser. All right, so now we're testing the Sennheiser MKE 400, and I do have the gain boost on. So we're gonna see how well this performs on the Canon 80D. I do have the level set further back than I did on the Comica VM10, so hopefully you'll hear some difference in audio quality with the gain boost on in comparison to the Comica VM10, which doesn't have any gain boost and it doesn't require any batteries either. So this is what the Sennheiser sounds like on the Canon 80D. I'll stop talking right now so you can hear the noise floor. So my conclusion, the preamps on the Canon 80D are definitely better than the ones found on like the 60D or the 70D or the T2, T3i, any of those older Canon cameras. They're not as good as something like a G6 or a GH3, but that's kind of to be expected. But in my testing, which I know it's not super scientific, it was definitely noticeable that the preamps on the Canon 80D were much quieter than the ones on the 60D. And that was something that I've always kind of struggled with on Canons was getting decent sounding audio straight into the camera without having to use some kind of like preamp or you know, an external recorder or something like that. So I think that that's actually really valuable when you just want to like, you know, stick a mic on top and actually get decent sounding audio. And right now you're actually listening to me on the Sennheiser MKE 400. It's boomed right here in front of my face. So to just do like a simple YouTube setup like this, I think it's actually really usable. And that's something that I'm always looking for with the camera is having a camera that I can just plug a mic into. I don't have to do separate system sound. Separate system sound is gonna get me the best results, but sometimes it just slows down my whole process of making a YouTube video and I don't even wanna do it. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed that video. I'm gonna be having a couple more parts to this Canon 80D review come out in the future. I'm gonna be testing the dynamic range, I'm gonna be testing the time-lapse features and a bunch of other, you know, just random things about this camera that I, you know, figure out, things that I like, things that I don't like. So if you're interested in that, be sure to stay tuned. But yeah, I hope this video was informative and if you liked it, it'd be great if you hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content. 
I just really wanted to make this video because ever since this camera came out, I never really saw anybody strictly addressing the audio because it's been such a big letdown with basically every other Canon DSLR that's come out. So I hope that this helps. Anyways, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Later.